Hey guys, uh, I'm Phoenix here with the Frozen Skies weekly update. Uh, I've done quite a lot this week. Um, I've added in buildings, I've retweaked the crafting system, and I've also added in trees and fell trees. These trees also grow um, over time. You can also, or will also, be able to plant trees and then obviously those will grow over time using saplings um, so yeah let's let's jump in and I'll uh, talk you through um, so this is my world as it is so far and these are my trees now in about 30 seconds these things here which look really weird at the moment these are my first trees will grow into these ones here um, so trees are the foundation for pretty much everything you do. Um, they provide the player with wood and thus wooden items. So you, as you can see these have popped up into full grown trees. Um, eventually it will be a, a rather slower thing so saplings will grow into young trees and then they'll get older and older and they'll be sort of a stage where they're as old as they can get and that's at that point um, that's going to be the best yield for wood um, and you'll be able to chop them down and when you chop them down you get these things here that sort of look like stumps um, you can chop these stumps up into logs and then you can pick up the logs with your hands. A few niggly little issues that I just need to sort of rectify. Um, wooden items um, can be used to make crude workbenches, um, houses, tents, all kinds of things, uh, tools. They really are sort of the 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 your main building material. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, the other thing that I've I've retweaked the crafting system quite a lot. So if you're just out in the wilderness and you haven't got anything in your inventory that you can craft it will just look like that. Um, the idea of the crafting menu is that if you've got the right tool equipped and you're standing near the right item if it needs some specific kind of like workbench or an anvil or a forge smelter or anything like that it will appear in the crafting menu. Um, so all you do is you open the crafting menu and it's there. But you need to have the right tool equipped and, and by equipped I mean it needs to be the active object like hand is now or like hammer is now um, so for example with clay items if I was to dig out some clay I could then use my hands to make it into a brick and then I could walk over to any heat source and I could turn it into an actual brick that, that I could then use to build a smelter um, with iron ore I can um, mine it out take it over to a smelter smelter, mine it in, um, make it into an iron bar and then use those iron bars to make um, metal casings or iron poles, sort of building equipment. So the, the, the crafting system has evolved quite a lot now and I'm sort of in the process of adding those things in, getting the crafting system up to spec. Um, still needs a little bit of work to get it all working smoothly but um, it's getting there. And the last thing I've added are buildings. Um, so much like the crafting system, if you've got it, got the um, the right tool equipped, and if you've got the right items, you can build it. So if you've got the hammer equipped, you can open your build menu, and then you can build things like tent, for example. Um, at the moment, these items on on here, they might have been hooked up but they might not necessarily um, have models um, or 
the stuff set up for it yet. So at the moment I can spawn tent without any materials. Uh, you can see that there's gaps though. There's, they're the ones that I've um, set up. So let's give myself um, a couple of let's give myself 100 wooden posts um, 100 wooden planks 100 iron po poles and 100 lamp heads right so um, I can now spawn lamp posts they will give light so quite useful in the night cycle and I can also spawn I know it doesn't really look anything like a gate at the moment but it's just a placeholder mod model for a gate and also fences as well this one's a little bit low for some reason but, uh, yeah and these are physical things that you can't get through but you can jump over um, so there's nothing more to say on that front um, all buildings will be upgradable some buildings are sort of expandable um, you'll be able to build sort of your own houses it's a planned feature not quite sure when that's exactly going in you may not see that for quite some time but I do I would quite like people to be able to build their own houses um, so the way this would work you'd drop something like this I've got it sort of half in at the moment um, house builder so you'll have this hollow and you can position it somewhere and then you fill out your width, length and height and it will build it um, out of these blocks and then the idea of it is that you'll be able to then um, walk up to it and sort of build, say you might want to build a wall there, a door there and so on and so forth and these will become structures which you can uh, live in um, so when you're inside them you're not going to be drop, dropping heat and you can furnish them as well with sort of vending machines or tables or whatever you like so um, that's all on the cards to do um, so uh, see you next week uh, for more things whatever I end up doing uh, as ever any questions that you've got um, drop them down. If you want to know how I've done anything, again, please ask.